Hi guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. So today is, what is today? October, October 18th? 18th. Yeah. Sunday, 2021. Yeah, thank you babe. Anyways, today we are going to a pumpkin patch with Tay and David and maybe Sven. We gotta see if he can come still. And then we are gonna come back. We're gonna make beef stew for dinner for all of us. And then we're gonna all watch Halloween Kills, that new movie that just came out. I'm so excited to see it. Um, and we're gonna watch that and carve our pumpkins and stuff. Well, so I'm really excited. But to get ready today, I wanted to crimp my hair. My hair was like not in the spot just yet to wash it. Um, but it's like getting to that flat stage. So I'm gonna throw a hat with it. Oh my gosh, that is tragic. But I'm gonna wear a hat today, a cabbie hat, and I'll put together, I kind of put together an outfit. So I'll show you guys. I hope it turns out when I like key when I put it on. I hope it, I don't feel like Christmassy in it. But I want to put waves in my hair because that's like my favorite thing to do when my hair is feeling super heavy and flat. Um, and with cabbie hats, I really like having waves or curls or something in there so it's not flat against my ears. So I'm going to share with you guys a little bit um, of how I wave my hair. This is such a good look, you guys. Um, I just used this Tidal Hair Waver. I used to have a different one from Amazon that I was going to show you guys last year, but it was such a piece of crap and it shot out on me last winter, so I haven't been able to use it. So, got this gorgeous bad boy. It's from Tidal Wave. I believe I have a code for you guys. I'll put it here on the screen and in the description box below if you're interested in getting your hands on it yourself. I've been dying to get this for so long now because I wanted a bigger barrel just to get more of that little wave. Um, and their edges, they make it really easy because these edges are not like a hard, I don't know how to describe this. Like they're not completely down. They're kind of curved up, which makes it easy to not put that gross crimp little thing in your hair, which I used to do a lot with my old ones. So I love this. It's super easy to use and I have really short hair. So I don't know if you guys can tell, but I get this done pretty fast. So I thought I would walk you guys through how I do it. Um, as a little get ready with me and then I also during this if I can multitask I'm going to share some updates with you guys on where we've been um, Obviously you guys know about Disneyland Because um, we did go to Disney and that was a lot of fun and we both really needed it and then we went to Vegas for a few days after that um, With my family Just to have just a couple days away. We didn't really do much We sat in the room like all during the day and went to dinner in the evening and then Basically, you just hung out and then went to bed. It was like a very chill thing. Um, hi, handsome puppy. But it was really fun and we really needed to go to Disney. And I did vlog the Vegas part. Oh, you like my hair stuff. He was obsessed with the smell of my hair, my dry shampoo. Oh, that smells nice. Oh, wow. That smells good. Oh, thank you so much. Um, but. The reason we did go MIA was because Josh and I found out very last minute that we were not going to be able to stay in this apartment, which is super unfortunate. Um, because you guys know we love it here, and um, I can't do this. Um, we just love it here, and we're really sad to leave. But they were raised our um, our rent a hundred or eighty percent, so they're trying to raise a thousand dollars, which just makes it extremely stupid to stay in an apartment for that much so we are thank you that was a good kiss stay or so we are renting a house and i'm really excited to share that house with you guys we move in two weeks um but yeah so i have stopped vlogging because obviously we were running around the place going and viewing houses um obviously we would love to buy but with this time frame that was just not possible so that's just how that turned out but to wave my hair, I always start in the back and I try and get like different pieces back because if I do it all at once, my hair is so thick that it makes the waves not as defined and then I just get really fluffy really easily. So I like separating my hair into some separate pieces. And then I like to start, I like flip the layer. So the top part of my hair, I always flip like with this side up. Um, and then other parts like down under, I like to start with this side just so it gives it more volume and stuff. Um, so this one will start with it upside down because the one below it. I'll do the other side. Also, this also comes with a glove. Um, but I try to stay away from the tips of my hair anyway, so I don't really need the glove. But if you want to take yours all the way down, the glove's really nice. You don't burn the bejesus out of yourself. Um, this thing's really easy and I don't know if you guys can see it right there. But it has a temperature thing. It has really low temps, really high temps. So if you have 
really aggressive hair like I do where you need higher temps it has that and then if you need really lower temps it obviously has that too for like really thin and brittle hair we don't want to burn those babies off there's that and then we'll do the bottom and then obviously when we planned our Disney trip it was like two days before we got the news about our apartment so that's why we just turned into an entire mess because we just spent all this money to go to Disneyland and Vegas and book all this stuff we literally bought everything um just for like literally the next day in the morning to find out like we had to move and we had to know like two days after that so we had like no time to let them know and they told us like 45 days from the day that our 60 day notice would be like needed to know known be known by so we literally didn't get to tell them and they didn't give us the good time frame for that and we obviously were gonna stay which sucks because we wanted to stay but when they gave us that price it was just like no we're not gonna stay that's why we didn't give you our 60 day notice when like when it was due because we were unaware that our rent was gonna be jacked up a thousand dollars um so yeah that's like the big news um and then the other news that i was gonna try telling you guys like in a vlog before disney was that we were going to disney but like i said the way everything happened it just was crazy okay now that the back part of my hair is done i'm gonna do these side pieces i break these up into two smaller pieces and if there is a little bit too much out at the end if you follow this instead of just going down you will miss like you can avoid doing like the double weird bumps that sometimes i see people do um that way it's like that okay so i quickly did all the rest of my hair and then i'm gonna save this side for you guys that way i can show you guys how i do like this top part of my hair when i get to it um so i always take this back one and i always like my back pieces to fall backwards so i hold my hair this way can you guys see that and then I crimp it and hold it back like this and then after that we will move on to like my side pieces and it should end up looking like that oh it looks so good I seriously miss being able to put these kind of waves into my hair okay so again for these next parts I section my hair into some smaller weird ones in like these back corners where it's not like on the top but it's not in the back and I just throw some crimps in there I also have bangs. They are kind of grown out now, but they kind of frame around my face. So I always say those last because I do them a specific way, um, which I'll show you guys. I don't need to do them that way because I only do them that way when I am going to have them out, which I'm not going to really because they're going to be covered up with my hat, but I thought I would still show you guys. Okay, this is, the, um, once I get to these top parts, I cr start crimping with this part on top. Um... I found if you do it the other way, the bump like goes the opposite way that I like it and I don't think it looks bad and I kind of like doing that when I want to throw a half up half down kind of hairstyle with it because it like lifts your hair up and makes it easier to do that but when I'm having my hair all down I love doing it this way because I think it just gives it a little bit more volume. <sighs> I love doing my hair like this. Okay, like I said, I like to do my bangs a certain way when I wear them like this. I usually think that if you take your bangs and corner them off like you would for like a French braid, like go in that corner, and you did it this way, I think that looks really good. Or you can still do it this way to follow the rest of your hair. Um, I'm going to do it this way. I don't really remember what was my favorite way, but... Okay, so it wasn't that way, but that actually doesn't look bad. That actually looks really good. I think it was my favorite way. It was the way to corner it back just to give it that volume so it flips backwards rather than side down. Um, but I don't think that looks bad for how I'm styling my hair today anyways. Do it to the other side. Okay, but just like that, I'm all done. I'm going to throw some braids right here. Um, I'll show you guys how I do that since we're going to... This is just going to be like a little get ready with me. Um, and then I never brush it out. I just kind of let it fall out on its own because the second I brush through it, fingers or whatnot. <sighs> but yeah, that is all I do. I will have everything down below. My code is Ash Taylor, and I do believe they have free shipping. But yeah, if you want a simple, easy way to put some waves in your hair, I highly recommend. All right, so for my hat style today, um, 
I'm just gonna grab a little piece of hair like this big, like not a big strand. I'm just gonna braid on each side and then that's gonna be my hairstyle today. Literally the best thing with waved hair like this is literally just being able to have fun with it. Especially if you have short hair and like don't know what to do with it. I have so much fun ways to do my hair. I have so many fun ways, I think is the better way to say that, of styling my hair when it's waved like this. Okay. And then I just use brown colored bands. Um, but if you have lighter hair, definitely get clear so that you can't see them. These are actually too white for my hair right now, but that's okay. Cute. Braid there. Okay. There's the braids. So freaking fun. Um, but now, I'm gonna do my mascara real quick and then I will throw my hat on and my outfit and show you guys all of that. All right, makeup is done and I am gonna show you guys my outfit. So I have this sweater on, which is from Princess Polly. I think I got this maybe in my August haul. I'll link it below if that's the case. Um, and then I'm thinking about wearing these green overalls that are also from Princess Polly. I got these last winter, but I think they're so fun. I think these with some docks and a black cabbie hat would look really fun and folly. So I'm gonna put this together and then throw in my big platform Doc Martens and we'll just see how we look. Not sure how nicely you guys can see my outfit but here it is all put together with the cabbie hat and all i think it looks really cute babe don't i just look like i belong at a pumpkin patch yes. kind of give enough bernard vibes but that's okay might go drive a train later who knows Pumpkin patch taste taking us on a maze run. She's self-proclaimed. <laughs> she's self-proclaimed. I'm great at directions. <laughs> but she's definitely better than me. We're in the corn. We're about to do a corn maze. We just ate and it was delicious. Now we're waiting for Tay. I'm not Tay's leading to. the way. Hey. I thought the point of a maze was Find your so, uh, Day three in the maze. We haven't found our way out yet. We're running low on sweet tea. Yeah. Tay says this is the corn you feed the chickens. <laughs> David. David's chopping the corn. Trail. David is um, Daniel Boone. Daniel Boone. Any uh, situation? Looks like Shaggy, but if he was bald in the outfit. But you do look like Shaggy. Hey, smile. Do something shaggy hey, with it. Hey, I'll take it you guys. Do something shaggy with it. Mr. Boomba. <laughs> Not that shaggy. Not that shaggy. Like shaggy and Scooby. <laughs> oh, Scoobs! <laughs> Start singing that song. Mr. Boomba. <laughs> <laughs> and we're on our way to Target. We have to get some ingredients and stuff for our beef stew tonight. Um, do we need any more pumpkin tools or are still kicking? I have no, I haven't seen what ours look like. I don't even know where they are. They're in our pumpkin, 
paper and our Halloween box in the office. I have it, I just didn't remember how good it was still. I feel like we had to share one of the things last year. I mean, well, we can go look real quick. things that like buzz and go Yeah, like, I think one, one of those broke. broke. Yeah. Do we want to get another one? If you want, I don't think I'm gonna use one of those this time. Well, all right. Anyways, we're at Target, we're gonna get some ingredients and then go meet Taylor and David back at our place. Um, and basically that's it for now. I think once it gets a little bit dark, we're gonna carve pumpkins, we'll make our beef stew, and watch Halloween Kills. Red rum. Yeah. Red rum. Guys, we're home from the pumpkin patch, and David and Taylor are here. Oh, guys, last time we did something like this was for Christmas time. Oh, oh my god, yeah. We and so I almost threw ago. up that drink. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, um, but we're home. Time. We're just drinking cherry coke. Cherry Coke and apple cider later. Warm oh, apple yeah. cider. Um, Josh and I are gonna make some beef stew for everyone. I wanted to drink that one second, please. Excuse me. <laughs> Fresh. But yeah, we're gonna make some beef stew and then we're gonna carve our pumpkins in a little bit. But you guys always ask for our beef stew recipe. Josh found it. You found this on Google, didn't you? Or was it Pinterest? Um, It's Google, but with some minor adjustments. With some minor adjustments, so. <laughs> with some Josh is Is my camera okay? Hey babe. Thank you. Um, so we're gonna make it and I thought we'd share the recipe so that way you guys don't have to ask me anymore. Literally. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. <laughs> While beef stew's nice cooking, thing. we're gonna make mimosas. And I have an idea. Oh damn, Matthew I ate all of our apples. That was the craziest cork I think I've ever experienced. I didn't even touch it and I saw it going up and I saved it. She has a pump behind it. Holy That would have been fun for a deposit. Uh -huh. <laughs> that was a big enough. cork. That's a lot. <laughs> I want some uh, champagne with my cider though. Guys, that one can be mine, all right? <laughs> oh yeah, climb with me up, baby. Climb with me up. <laughs> Shit, uh, go down. Wow, great pour right there, that was on the money. Climb with me up, baby. Climb with me up. Everybody knows you pour the champagne first. Well, you know, it was, oh, foam, it was too foamy. Taste them and tell me what I did wrong. Finish your pumpkin. <laughs> All right, so I will share some clips in here of our pumpkins. I forgot to take a whole video of them on my vlog camera. But I am going to take off my makeup and put on my PJs and then Josh and I are going to put on Halloween Town because it's only like 7 something or 8 now, huh? So we're going to try watching a movie before bed. But I'm going to go wash my face real quick and then I might make some sleepy time tea.